What's up guys? We're here outside of Goodwill for thrift store day. We're gonna try to find some beaters. Let's go. Yeah! What kind of tech is this? You can look for black. Hey Vic. What's up? Shopping in the ladies' shoe section. All right, we are back to the office. Thrift store day is over. We picked up three solid pairs of shoes. Instagram voted for these Air Max Addy Londons. The other candidates were these Air Jordan 2012s and these Adidas Superstars. I might do something with these in the future, so I'm gonna hang on to them. Um, they'll be good for a restoration and a custom. These shoes, I think, are freaking terrible. I spent 20 bucks on them. So stupid, I should have not listened to Quinn and bought these. They're so ugly, I'm not gonna do anything with them. Um, they're a size 14, uh, terrible shoe. So like I said, Instagram voted, they picked this shoe. I thought it was a perfect choice. I was hoping uh, they would vote for this shoe. I only paid $6. One thing I am concerned about this shoe, when I'm gonna clean it, after they fully dry, I'm pretty sure just judging by the material from past experience, there's gonna be a super dark yellow ring all around the toe box and possibly the ankle area as well. Um, I'm 90% sure, who knows, maybe it'll clean up perfectly. I doubt it though. So what we're gonna do to fix that is add a little custom work to this shoe. So we're gonna clean it up, restore the midsoles and add um, a little flare to, to the uppers. So on the toe box, I'm not 100% sure what color I'm gonna do yet, but There'll be some work involved, so boom, let's get started. For before and after purposes, we're gonna put this shoe to the side and get working on this shoe. We're gonna wanna remove the shoelaces so we can get deep inside the shoe and clean up the tongues. Put a couple of squirts. So the first brush we're gonna wanna use is our soft bristle brush to clean up these uppers. Like I said, I'm worried about these yellow rings not coming out. There's a good chance it's not gonna come out, but we're gonna try our best to get these shoes as white as possible. Here's a quick update. The shoe does look a little bit cleaner, but as you can see on the hyperfuse material, I think it's oxidated. Um, it's yellow. I don't think it's gonna go back to white like how it originally was when they were brand new Unfortunately, but the mesh is clean up somewhat But like I did mention the yellow ring all around the toe box and this back area are there It's pretty yellow. I don't think it's gonna come out, but we're gonna keep on scrubbing So I did about 10 minutes worth of scrubbing on the uppers using a saw bristle brush. Like I said, I'm not seeing much of a difference. So we're gonna bump it up a notch. We're gonna use the all-purpose brush. We're gonna hit the areas all around. Hopefully it lightens up the yellow one. If you guys are buying shoes from any thrift store, make sure you guys clean up the insides. If you don't know where those shoes been at, you don't know what kind of feet has been inside the shoes, make sure to clean up all the, the insides, outsides, every inch possible if you plan on wearing them. It's disgusting. For the insoles, I'm using the all-purpose brush. No point in using the stop bristle brush. It doesn't matter for fr if it frays or not. It goes inside the shoe. What I'm worried about is getting all this nasty grime out of the insole. Shoelace time. Just put it inside the old water inside the bowl. Good to go. Let's put the shoe lace inside the shoe. Grab my sneaker laundry bag that was supposed to be on my desk. Lee. All right, now let's grab our shoe. Put it inside our sneaker laundry bag for protection. 
lace it up all around just so the shoe doesn't come out during the washing cycle. Give it an extra knot for extra protection. Let's go. All right guys, washing machine time. Let's go ahead and put this shoe inside this white box. Grab our Rejuvenator Sneaker Laundry Detergent. It's slippery. All right, so we're gonna wanna pop it open, squeeze it, pour an ounce on the shoe. It's slipping. I right, got it. Close this bad boy up. As always, small cycle since it is only one shoe. Cold water, regular cycle, store it. All right guys, so we're back. Shoes are out the washing machine. They turned out overall decent. The shoe smells good. You know, the insides got disinfected. Um, the shoe smells good. The creasing's out as well. The only thing that's wrong with the shoe, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, is the yellow ring around the toe box. Same thing with the hyperfuse material. It's oxidated. It's not gonna turn white with just a cleaning. It's just a material. It turns yellow. Once it turns yellow, you can't turn it back to white. It's just how it goes with mesh. Hyperfuse material, unfortunately. Um, so what we're gonna do is paint it. We'll do that later though. For now, we're gonna move on to the midsoles. The first thing we gotta do is tape up the uppers so we can strip the paint using acetone and cotton balls. paint's coming off pretty easily. We don't want to be messy with it. You don't want to soak up the uh, cotton ball with acetone because that's going to cause paint to leak under the tape. Also, don't go with the blue and the white together, if that makes sense. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is if you're scrubbing at the blue, stay in that, stay in that area. Don't scrub that blue onto the white. The reason why I say that is because it gets kind of messy. When you're trying to lay down the white to cover up you know, this area, it's a little harder when you have a little blue stain on this side and it's pretty white on this side. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you know, just try to be nice and neat. All right, shoe is fully taped up. This shoe took a while just because I had to tape up the swooshes, the plastic pieces on the uppers, the bottom portion, the insides. I had to be careful because I didn't want to tape up the entire of the insides. Check out how on the inside I still got some white that I want to paint black. By the way, I'm painting the shoe black. I didn't say that. The shoe's gonna be black. I went the easy route, but I think for this shoe, it's the best route. I can do white for those of you that might ask in the comment section. I'm not gonna do white, I can't. The reason why is because it'll take several layers to cover up this yellow. And if I apply several layers, it'll look thick, it'll look caked on, and we don't want that. So black is the best solution for this shoe. So we're gonna be using Jacquard, and we're gonna be spraying it through my airbrush. Alright guys, so I went ahead and took off all the tape, even laced up the shoe. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. Overall though, check out the shoe. Look how pretty freaking cool that is. Looks like an actual colorway in my opinion. Kind of looks better than the, than the original colorway. Um, 
enough said. Next thing we gotta do is spray them with Krylon matte finish. This stuff is for the hyperfuse material and the missiles that we painted earlier on in the video. And our shoemaker water and stain repellent to protect the mesh area on the shoe since we did paint it. We can spray matte finish, but we can spray water and stain repellent. That way, if anything spills on it, it'll bounce right off. It won't damage the black painted areas. Let's go outside. Next up, Rejuvenator Water and Stain Repellent. Boom, let's go. All right guys, that is gonna bring us to an end on this before and after Air Max Sunny London. This shoe is a true before and after, a true day and night. Just look at it. Good all around. Check out the befores. Look how much creasing there is. The toe boxes are crushed. The shoe is just in bad, bad condition. And now, let's talk about this piece of art. For one, the toe box is perfect. Not one crease, and that is thanks to our Rejuvenator shoe trees. Next, the midsoles. The midsoles are perfect. The white is back to white. The blue is nice and vibrant again. The lines are perfect, nice and crisp all around. Just check that out. Perfect. And of course, the black uppers. The black uppers really tie the shoe together. At first, I didn't know how it was gonna look because I was just kind of winging it. I taped up the shoe, decided to spray the black. Once I, taped the, once I removed the tape, I realized I made the perfect decision by going with the black. It just looks so much better than the original. Don't get me wrong, the original is still pretty cool. It's still a clean shoe if the white mesh was actually white. Thing is, after the cleaning it, there was a yellow ring around it still. The mesh was oxidized, so the next best thing was to paint it. Looks so much better, so, so much better. Um, that's just one of those tricks you can do at home if something goes wrong with your shoe or something doesn't clean up You can always customize it. The very first step I did was started by inserting our rejuvenator shoe trees and started with our three brush advanced single line system Before I forget to mention guys, this is our old packaging We don't use this anymore at least for our three brush advanced single line system. So we're gonna toss this to the side And grab our new packaging so much slicker so for this cleaning, we use our 3-brush advanced single line system. We use our soft bristle brush <clears throat> to clean up the mesh, the sock liner, and the tongues. The medium bristles to clean up the midsoles, um, the hyperfuse material, and the plastic areas on the shoe. And our stiff bristle brush to clean up the soles. Once, that was, once the pre-treatment was done, we put them inside our single laundry bag, put them in the washing machine along with our rejuvenator single laundry detergent, washed them, got them looking good, painted them black, painted the midsoles, got rid of the creasing, the full shoe looks good, sprayed them with matte finish to protect the paint job, and of course, our Rejuvenator water and stain repellent. You can find all this stuff you see right here at Rejuvenator.com. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Vic. I'll see you guys next Monday.